Singaporeans, this is the election that you have to vote wisely because you are voting not only for yourself, but your children and your children's children. Three years ago, in 2013, the Prime Minister has approved the proclamation of this population white paper. And this white paper is harmful. Do you want this white paper to be passed to us, Singaporeans? It is harmful because it costs us our job, Singaporeans. S passes and EP passes are there and they rob us of our jobs. 400,000 foreigners are here as professionals. Many of you are affected and are standing right here. I can name you 10 to 20 of you are affected by this white pair. Am I right, Singaporeans? Yeah. Mr. Ghani right there is affected by the white paper. He lost his job to a foreigner. Am I right, Mr. Ghani? Yeah. He is there. Give him a hand for supporting opposition. Do you want change, Singaporeans? Do you want change, Singaporeans? Do you want change, Singaporeans? Shout along with me. We want change. 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 Because if change don't come to you, by the year 2030, half of this population will be consisted of foreigners, new citizens, who will continue to vote PAP into power. 6,000 new citizens are absorbed into the electorate every year. Right now, in this election, 200,000 new citizens are voting against you. The next election and the next elections, more new citizens will be here voting against you, stealing your job, saying to you that this is my territory, this is my country. Singapore is for Singaporeans, am I right? Yeah. Singapore is for Singaporeans, am I right? Yeah. This is my country. Why should I, when I go for an interview, be approved by someone who is from another country so that I can have a job. Many of you go to interviews because a foreigner is there interviewing you. You lost your job because this foreigner is bringing his friends, his villagers into this country of ours. Is that fair to us Singaporeans? No. It is not. This is my country. Singapore is for Singaporeans. I love my country. Many people have said I'm xenophobic. Do you think I'm xenophobic, Singaporeans? No. Do you think I'm xenophobic, Singaporeans? No. I love my country. I'm anti-immigration, and they say I hate foreigners. I've been held to the police station many times for Lim Ko P. I'm given warning three weeks ago by the police. But I'm still there to say it. This is my country. I'm against foreigners coming to my country. I'm against the lax labor policy. I'm, I love you, right? I have friends who are from Hong Kong. One of my coaches is from Hong Kong, but I'm against the immigration policy, Singaporeans. It is harmful to us. If this election, you still allow the PAP to form the next government, your next five years will be miserable. Trees will break down as often as this period. Jobs will be lost. If you have a degree, you'll drive taxi, I promise you. Many people I saw in my NGO who have degrees and master degrees, right now they're driving taxis. Do you think that is fair, Singaporeans? This is my country. If I have a degree, I should have a good access to a good job. And why should jobs be given to foreigners first? Why shouldn't be given priority in the job market, Singaporeans? Is this fair to us? No. It's not fair to us. I have only five minutes, and I want to endorse the West Coast GRC team. Can I ask the West Coast GRC team to stand up? Andy, Kenneth, Dorina, and Darren, give them your applause.
These are people who will fight for you, Singaporeans. Vote for them. Vote for them. They've given you the time. They've given up money. They've given up their sacrifice. Vote for them. These are nice people, Singaporeans. Give them your votes. Give them a loud cheer. Give them a loud applause. Thank you, Singaporeans. Singapore for Singaporeans. Thank you. Thank you. Vote for Reform Party.